What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. What's going on, my peeps, my peoples? Peep Squad is in the building. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Portia Williams and Andy, you know, basically kind of dragging Kenya and just talking about Kenya like, damn, on Watch What Happens Live. Like, what's going on with that situation? Portia Williams is calling out Kenya more saying that she don't call nobody. She ain't friends to nobody. She only a friend when she needs you to speak on some things and talk about people and use their platforms. And she's also saying that she is not going to address Marlo because she's a felon with a lisp. And she also says that Marlo Hampton, she believes her clothes may be real, but they better be. Uh, she hopes so because she be bartering and she be selling that thing thing that kitty can't to get you know designer so i was like lord have mercy what's going on and then we find out portia williams and tanya sims is basically they ain't friends anymore like they used to be they're not close close because andy asked portia you know where is tanya i know you guys are close friends and you know portia basically said no we're not but i did speak to her the other day and she's working on a project with the brat and you know candy burris said the other day you know when she was on watch what happened live that Tanya Sam came to her shop to buy some dang dang so what's going on with Tanya and working over there with you know Miss Brett so we already heard that Tanya and Portia get down <laughs> so you guys let me know what you think about that situation also you know Portia Williams was really shading Cynthia Bailey basically saying you know t you know Cynthia Bailey got them Tiffany gifts them presents she got them from you know her cellar she got them bottles of champagne from her cellar and basically she's saying she didn't like either one of the gifts they were no good they were good bitch I was like what and she said that Cynthia Bailey got them gifts out of her wine cellar i was like lord have mercy like what's going on first she congratulates cynthia saying that the tiffany gifts were good and she's going to get her daughter sized so she can have the exact same jewelry but then she turned around and say the champagne bottles and you know cynthia bailey's gift were terrible like what's going on i thought cynthia bailey and portia williams was cool so you guys let me know what you think about this situation i was like damn it's going down mm 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 so let's get into it. So Andy basically got into, you know, it with Juice Adora basically saying your receipts were stale. Everything about you did with the read with the wig, you know, that gift, you know, everything of that nature was just terrible. Like it was fell, fell, fell. Right, Portia? Portia, you're going to have to get in here and handle the situation because you know I'm right. So it seems like Portia is the go-to with Andy, baby. But in any event, you know, Juice Adora basically said, you know, she was asked where did she get the boom box from Andy and she said I got the I've been had that boom box and I used to listen to escape on it So it seemed like juice Adora was shading Candy a little bit or maybe she was congratulating her but in any event, you know um, Drew was like, okay, okay. And Portia basically was like, yeah, there was a whole lot going on in your party, baby girl. But, you know, Portia said she didn't understand the reads that Juice Adora was trying to give to Kenya. If she would have understood it, then maybe she can help her with the situation. But in any event, you know, um, Andy was like, it was just so dry. And then Drew was like, I had receipts, but Georgia, you know, you need, you know, consent to, you know, request play a whole recording blasting the third and she really do got receipts and Portia Williams basically is saying that you know Drew Sedora got more receipts when, when it comes to a situation than it comes to Kenya Moore basically Portia Williams is saying that Kenya Moore receipts she has no receipts when it comes to Portia and Bolo but when it comes to Drew Sedora Drew Sedora got the receipts baby so mm 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 so you guys let me what you think about that situation but in any event Portia was basically like girl you know the girls wanted a thousand dollar gift they spent a thousand dollars they wanted to get a thousand dollars back and that wig oh lord no way at all and then they cracked about the wig and talk about the wig where the wigs at Portia got the wig and then Portia basically accused Kenya Moore of being a thief baby she said that she done stole some of Drew's gift and that's how Portia ended up you know with Juice Adora's wig somewhere in her house and she don't know where is that it's in the trash it's in a garbage but I was like damn what is happening with this situation Mm, mm, mm. 
And then Portia Williams was asked, did she find it weird that Kenya Moore called Juicedora a narc? And basically, because after Kenya Moore was doing her investigation about what went down at the bridesmaids' party, and Portia Williams responded basically that Juicedora and um, Kenya Moore on the same team of investigating. The only thing is Kenya Moore's situation got promoted, you know, the Bolo situation. She didn't have no receipts, but Ju really had the receipts for her situation to get promoted as much. So basically, Portia is saying they promoted Kenya Moore's storyline more than they promoted drew sedora and drew had the real receipts so you guys let me know what you think about this situation because kenya moore says she had receipts and recordings too when she was over there on speak on it so you guys tell me what you think about the situation also portia williams was asked do you think that kenya moore is actually going to pursue her crush on latoya and portia said no because latoya is not interested at all and then you know andy basically had to call kenya moore it was called bolo she wrote why he always got to talk about bolo bolo's always in his mouth he said we're gonna call kenya messica fletcher i was like damn mess <laughs> Fletcher, Messica Fletcher, like what's going on with that situation? I was just like, damn. So basically, you know, Portia Williams is saying Latoya is not interested in Kenya Moore point blank, period. And then, you know, she was asked about these earrings. Do you think the earrings that Kenya Moore gave to Candy really was $5,000? And Portia Williams said, hell no. She basically did free advertisement you know, to get the earrings. So that's how she got it because it was on the show. It's on Watch What Happens Live. So she did an even trade-off and it wasn't $5,000. I was like, Lord, have mercy. And then Portia Williams was asked, you know, when it comes to Kenya Moore, it seems like she believes that, you know, Mark Daly, her husband, blocked her number. Which one of the other housewives do you think that Kenya Moore is blocked from? And then Portia Williams said that, you know, she is blocked. She wouldn't even know if she's blocked because she don't reach out and call nobody. She don't reach out and touch nobody. And only time she does is when she want to tell some secrets and tell some business and gossip and so many words. Basically, she said she only use people when she needs to say something so basically she was talking about you know kenya going over there on speak on it so you guys tell me what you think about that situation i was like damn what's going on what is happening like woo wee <laughs> like portia came portia was quiet half the season now she comes through and portia was asked you know what does she think about the friendship between kenya moore and and Marlo Hampton, how long is it going to last? And she said, forever, ever. I hope it lasts forever. It's a beautiful thing. It is wonderful to see. I was like, Lord, have mercy. Portia knows she's doing too much. Portia knows that she's sitting there saying, okay, I'm reloaded. Uh, I don't, she, basically she's saying she don't give, she don't give a damn about the friendship, whether it lasts or not. It's not even her situation. And also, Portia Williams was asked, what do you think about Kenya questioning you about Bolo? And basically, Portia Williams is like, you know, she loves me. She loves me. Ken, I love you back. And basically, she threw that shot at Kenya Moore because, you know, um, Mr. Mark Daly calls Kenya Ken. She goes, Ken loves me. I love Ken back. <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> Portia was over here giving Andy all the ratings that he needed. And he had all these weird questions being asked and things like that of people and the, you know, stream. I was like, what's going on with this situation? Mm, mm, mm. And also, you know, Juice Dora was asked, do she regret giving um, Latoya an autographed picture? And she said, hell no, hell no whatsoever. She don't regret it at all. I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> do you regret? <laughs> and so, you know, when it comes down to the situation, um, Portia Williams said the champagne bottles and these Tiffany gifts were trash really just trash i was like damn what's going on in this situation like shit i thought you said you liked it oh my goodness like what's happening and then when it comes to juice adora she was asked do she regret telling the world that her husband was spying on her and watching her and shit like that do she regret that situation or no like what's going on 
And I know she regrets telling people that he went to Tampa for three days and then telling then the creepiest shit is he watching her and her mother and the kids in the house. Well, he's protecting them. And then also Juice Dora was asked, you know, do she regret, you know, basically trying to get Kenya to say what she, to tell that she was taking a jet and where, you know, and the text messages and all that other stuff. And she said, no, she would do it again. She want to keep people honest. That's her situation. And Juice Dora was asked, do she feel, you know, um, regret giving Kenya Moore the wrong, I mean, a, the smallest room. And Drusa Dora said, no, Kenya Moore chose the smallest room because she didn't want to do the booty bounce. I was like, Lord, that girl don't have to do the booty bounce. She had her daughter with her. She brought her kid with her. Like, Lord have mercy. And Portia Williams, and it seems like Drusa Dora are starting to look a whole lot alike. Like, what's going on in this situation? Drusa Dora was asked if she regrets, you know, running up on, you know, Latoya. And she says, no, because where she from, if you, she could, she could press charges because she threw a wig at her. But she ain't going to do that. Where she from, you supposed to get up and you can't let nobody get away with throwing a wig at you. I feel you. So, or throwing something at you or threatening you or thinking they can try you. So, she says, Shy Town is in the house. And do she regret trying to split the check, you know, with Kenya? She says, no, she don't regret it because she didn't want her to owe her nothing. Portia Williams jumped in and said, it's COVID. She's being responsible. We in the PNZ it. So I was like, what's going on? And does Juice and Dora regret giving Kenya more this wig? And I think Andy shamed her into regretting it. And she said, yes, she regret giving that wig. <laughs> like, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, Portia and um, Miss Juice and Dora are looking a whole lot alike. Excuse me. So moving on from that situation, I was like, what's going on? Oh, baby, like a whole lot's going on. So Andy's getting flirted with, you know, while he's sitting over there on TV. Some guy is flirting with him. But also, Juice Dora said that if she could have played the whole recording, you could have heard everything. And she does not regret playing the recording. And Andy is so happy. And Andy is thinking about Bolo and also flirting with this guy, asking the question. He didn't ask Portia Williams. You know, he said, hey, daddy. And Andy, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Andy was like, you can call me daddy. And I was like, what? Andy just, ooh, he be trying to get it, baby. And this dude is trying to get attention at the same damn time. So in any event, when it comes down to that situation, um, when this, you know, this guy asks Portia Williams, you know, the question whether, you know, it seems like Marlo Hampton was very sincere, you know, when she was trying to apologize to you at, you know, Candy Steakhouse Place. Um, why wasn't you receptive and where are you at now when it comes, you know, to Miss Marlo Hampton? And basically, Portia Williams says that she does not speak on, she says she heard somewhere in an interview that, you know, she was asked not to speak on Marlo. And she says she's not going to speak on the felon with a lisp. And I was like, what? I was like, she's really trying to remind everybody that Marlo Hampton is, you know, a felon. And basically putting it out there like she ain't getting no peach. But in any event, I was just like, damn. Like, she called her a felon in a whole nine. I was like, for real? This is what we doing? And she also says... <laughs> That she's a felon, you know, with it, so she ain't going to speak on her. Like, what? Like, what's going on? And she said, you know, she ain't talking to us. So, basically, at this at this time and point, we can assume that Marlo Hampton is not friends at all with Portia Williams. And Portia Williams is not friend at all with Mar Marlo Hampton. Point blank, period. Mm, mm, mm. So, Juice Dora regrets giving that wig. I was like, Lord have mercy. And she also says that, you know, Latoya's lucky that she wasn't able to get to her because security hold her back. Now, by saying that, now next time Latoya and Juice Dora see each other, it might become a violent situation. But Latoya did throw that wig at her. So, in any event, you know, Drew's basically keeping it. The way she wants to keep it with the situation. And then, you know, Drew was asked, you know, what did she think about Kenya Moore saying that she has a Napoleon complex? And when she was going to get her jewelry, you know, buy some diamond earrings, you, Kenya Moore was asked, like, what do you think about Yappity? You know, she's, you know, if you was a if you got you know juice adora a gift and she was like oh my gosh she's like a chihuahua just yappity yap 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 you know what i wonder if they have a 
dog chain here and she asked the jewelers do they have a dog chain i was like lord have mercy what is going on with this situation <laughs> oh. and basically you know juice Dora said that she is intelligent she's articulate she has a wide range of vocabulary so therefore she is going to keep her foot on kenya moore's neck regardless and she's going to you know hell kenya moore feet to the fire and that's what juice Dora said that she is going to do Mm -mm. I told you she wasn't going to stop. And Drew said she's going to be herself. So Drew was shading the people that asked her that question because they asked her in, in, you know, a way that Drew could get at them. And, you know, um, she was shading Kenya because Kenya said, yeah, but yeah, you know, that's why she said vocabulary and all this other stuff. And she's articulated, articulate. So you have a whole lot going on with that situation. Yep. <laughs> and so, you know, Portia Williams was asked, who do you think is bigger? And Drusadora, Kenya Moore's ego, you know, that's the question that Andy wanted to, you know, throw out there. Or Polo's, Bolo's thing. And, you know, Andy wanted to talk about Bolo. So in any event, when it comes down to the situation, you know, Portia Williams said, Bolo, Bolo, Bolo. And she said, Bolo got that thing, Bolo thing be thang thangin'. I was like, and then, you know, Juicedora said it was Bolo. So basically, Bolo's thing is bigger than Kenya Moore's, you know, um, ego. So, you know, that was the answer question. And um, with this situation, Portia Williams is like, these llamas was whack. Like, she was dissing Cynthia Bailey. These llamas are whack. And she basically said she hopes Marlo Hampton do got on real clothes because, baby, um, she be bartering. She be selling that thing. So, Portia was feeling a certain type of way. She was going in, you know, when it came to, you know, the ladies. Whoever she didn't get or spray on the season, basically, she is spraying them on her instagram and she's spraying them on watch what happens live like you guys tell me what you think about this situation mm, mm, mm. and also um when it comes to andy he took the time to ask the ladies why they was late and juice adora basically said that she was late because you know she was having some issues she has a medical condition she has a health condition and so basically ralph was going to get her prescription and her pills we did see that on an episode but also portia williams jumped in and said baby wasn't wasn't you over there trying to get that recording so basically portia threw you under the bus like girl you was over there trying to get that recording together get this information together get that gag gift that fell together in so many different words and so portia and snitched on each other because you know Drew's basically saying that she was sick they were three hours like that she was sick and then now she said i had to wrap these gifts and andy said oh please oh like wow wrap gifts so you know andy's feeling a certain type of way because they were three hours late because you know people was complaining so you know the producers that ain't Porsche that is that is not Porsche's or Juice and Dora wrote that question down on the paper baby so it is what it is and then you know when we get from that situation um, let's talk about Juice Adora before you got Portia, but the Juice Adora situation, when it comes, Drew was asked a question, why are you always saying that your marriage is perfect, baby girl, when your husband went missing for three days, and basically Juice Adora said, it's a perfect marriage for me, me and Ralph are perfect together, it's perfect for what we want, perfect for what we're working on, perfect that we're going to counseling, and, and the growth that we're working on is perfect, so it's just perfect to me, I was like, yep, it's just perfect to you, girl, but in any event, she said, marriage is hard, you know it takes time and then it was like one of the top things that happened this season you got Portia Williams looking like she is stoned out of her mind kissing you know Latoya so this is why they ran with you know the Portia situation other than you know the Latoya situation and any event mm -mm, and Portia looks like she's out of it Drew and that cheap ass wig and then Kenya Moore with the you know crab cakes she gonna have to you know bring some more crab cakes to the situation and also Kenya Moore taking a jet and the other ladies you know riding on a sprinter with no ear condition baby and Portia Williams shading the shit out of these gifts <laughs> and then when she ever said that she is, she's selling her JJ, I was like, Lord. And Kenya Moore being an investigator, basically she's saying that Kenya Moore and Drew is on the same team when it comes to that investigation situation. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. I was just like, damn, there's so much going on. 
and you know they're reading down to the ground i mean they're doing a whole lot they were talking about lazy halloween costumes and then portia and you know uh, miss Jusadora, you know did the little test they got they matched seven out of ten basically answering almost everything the same so it seems like portia got a new friend it ain't you know tanya sims and it and they're not promoting her relationship with um Shamia, so it seems like they're promoting her relationship with Drew Sedora more and more and more. And Portia Williams was asked, Who does she think that spread it the rumor about her Bolo? At first, she thought it was Kenya Moore, then she kind of thought it was Latoya. But Portia Williams basically saying that she thinks it's somebody that works with them or works around them so is she talking about don juan so what's going on with that situation and andy said since your first season is over when it comes to you know drew sedora what would you have done what would you do differently and she said get my wigs laid i went lay them again so when andy said you know your first season is over that means she got a second season so she's coming through you know for her second season so she gonna lay her wigs andy likes you know juice Dora and her husband he likes the way that they're raising each they're raising their kids and how you know they're letting old daddy come in and be around everybody i'm just like lord oh what's going on so you guys let me know what you think peace